Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to share with you my first year of the bullet journal. Hope you can enjoy my growth as much as I did. I had two 200 page exercise books for this. So let's get on to the first one. Now the bullet journal was an idea I thought was and is a beautiful way of organizing an expression and I thought why not try it. My theme this year was just do it whether you're able or not feel creative or not and you'll just see lots of unwanted pen marks. I learned to hide my book and pen eventually. My very first feature log and the basic bullet journal monthly, you'll notice I just used a barrel pen and a simple exercise book. That's just what I had in hand. Here I started playing around with doodles. I love having a movie watch list and rating them according to how I enjoyed the films. I also had a music playlist that I enjoyed. I'll link all my bullet journal monthly setups on the top right corner of the screen if you'd be interested to check them out. And if you enjoy my video, kindly hit the thumbs up button to help me know you enjoyed it. You can leave a comment down below as well. Finally, you can consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you can get all my videos. I started working out six months postpartum and thought it would be good to track my weight loss. By the end of January, I had learned all the things I had left out and I needed to add moving forward. Now here's my very first cover page and it was hilarious and in the spirit of love. <laughs> yeah. Green Monthly and my very first habit tracker. Here's a list of books I'd love to buy and the list keeps growing. This is my first pop of color and I remember how happy this page made me feel. In March, I added in my very first gratitude log and I've always had one until now. It's a very cool practice. Here are some notes from YouTube. I really hope I do better next year. And then I had a weekly layout that worked now and I quite maintained it throughout the month of March. In April, I tried being a little bit bolder and did a pattern theme and I remember that quote from growing up, it was always on our wall. I tried a different monthly and I hated it. Here's my meal plan page and it is of lots of use now. I changed up my weekly spread to find the one I enjoyed and looked good to me. more color in the month of May and since it was the royal wedding I had a royal theme. I tried individual habit tracking wasn't much success at the same time it was the first brain dump page I had and I absolutely loved it. And for my weekly I had some layout that seems, seemed to work really well so that's what I did all through the month. In June, I got my first pants and in my opinion, my work looks much cleaner and beautiful. Here's where I thought best to acquire another book uh, to continue with journaling since this one would not uh, handle the next six months of the year. And I really loved how everything turned out. I really had so much fun doing this spread. First thing I did is I crocheted two bookmarks and had the bright idea to stick them in the front page, the frontmost page of my book and I almost tore it apart but somehow it survived, they were just too thick. I find this book much cleaner, I had been doing bullet journaling for a while now and I thought I had a good handle on it. So here's just my index page and then my key and having a beautiful quote there for myself. I really had fun doing this one. 
and then my future log for the next six months the only thing I migrated to this one is my fitness tracker I love the sunflower theme and here I had my very first mood tracker really beautiful I loved it and I started learning how to letter as well it is still a work in progress I went all out and poured all my heart into this spread. I totally loved it. I loved the layout. I loved the different colors that I used. I loved trying out some new stuff. I loved how everything turned out. And I tried doing a little bit of self search since it was my birthday month. And well, this layout didn't work, but I found a weekly layout that worked and I started doing a challenge on Instagram and I've been doing them ever since. And I truly loved everything about this spread. In September, I went back to the basics, but my favorite page, hands down, is my mood tracker. I had lots of fun doing this in different layouts. I went all in to try quotes and having some doodles in inside my, my work and I really enjoyed it. Look at that. That is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and more challenges on Instagram and I really love how it turned out. It had been pretty cold the past few months so all I wanted for October was sunny days and that's my theme for this month. I really enjoyed how it turned out. It was the first time I tried out and created my first function page and I totally love it. I did my first mandala as a challenge again. Oh, not really cool. November was a really good month for me. I went out with the dotted theme. I was happy with the fact that I was able to keep up with my trackers and yeah I just loved having different quotes and the function page really worked well for me this time round. I went out with colors, I love this dotted theme that I did and especially this quote. I went all out even with my weeklies to have the quotes inside it and I really loved how it turned out ended up trying out my first Dutch door and this was really cool. Finally the month of December and I love my monthly except my header. I just don't like it at all. I wish I'd not put those strings on it. December is not yet over so you'll see a lot of blanks that are yet to be filled and just to talk to you a little bit I just love the fact that I dove in into this crazy bullet journal place that once I saw online and these amazing artists are all out there and you can feel quite intimidated and I've gone through that a few times when I was doing all this work but I've loved uh, doing it whether I had the equipment, whether I had the pens or the best bullet journal notebook that I could have but I would really recommend anyone, encourage anyone to, to try it whether it be artistic or not or simple or even both. It is a great tool to keep things in perspective and fun. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you so much for an awesome first day in the bullet journal and on YouTube. Have a blessed and beautiful new year.